Main vacation property, Pleasant Lake, Dyerbrook Home. Near two golf courses on all the recreation trails, Main vacation property, Pleasant Lake Dyer Brook home for sale in Southern Aroostook County. Hello, I'm AIM Realtor Andy Moores. We are going down Interstate 95 to Dyer Brook. Dyer Brook, Maine, one of the lowest towns for taxes around. How come? Smart little town, not open every day. Don't need to be. Don't try to duplicate everything the next town has, like a fire department. And the school, Southern Aroostook, is headquartered right in Dyer Brook. Stay tuned, this property, Pleasant Lake, golf course nearby. Wreck trails all right on your doorstep. Pleasant Lake is one of the cleanest around. You go out in the boat, you look down into the water, and you can see almost forever, not to China, but a lot farther than a lot of lakes. It is crystal clean. It doesn't just happen. They protect it. They're good stewards of the waterfront. You're taught to give it to your kids in as good or even better shape than you received it. Built carefully, slowly, with lots of planning in 1999 and steadily improved ever since. Main vacation property, Pleasant Lake Dyer Brook Home for Sale. Here's the public boat access to float your boat on Pleasant Lake. Here's also the wreck trails, number 105. Almost there. This is the Pond Road. We're looking for 453. Can't wait to show you Pleasant Lake. This is coming up on Birch Point. What a great place for your friends and neighbors to come visit. Unless you want them to stay with you and you'll have a lot of room. Birch Point is right smack dab on Pleasant Lake, near Mattawamkeag Lake and the Vajua Golf Course. Beautiful lot. Total privacy. You've got to have a place to put all those trail toys, kayaks, skis, snowshoes. Or maybe you convert this to the mother-in-law pad or for your buddies that come up. We'll see you at breakfast. Here's the bunkhouse. Nice little workshop. Metal roof, metal sided. Smart. 30 feet long on a cement slab, 20 feet wide. There's a side passage and an overhead door. Hardwood floors, double garage, heat pump, has a rear shop or storage area for your trail toys, the boats for the lake. This vacation home built ruggedly in 1999 and steadily improved. Nice to have a direct entry, double garage. See the trusses? Hello, I'm Ian Realtor Andy Moores, and we are in a vacation property that I think you're going to find is pretty exciting. I know we were. Twelve rooms, seven on this first floor that has lots of glass, hardwood floors, 
two bathrooms. You go downstairs, there's another 900 square feet of living space, which makes it like two houses for one. Do you have company come to visit? Do you have a mom or a loved one that lives with you and needs some separation, some space? I don't care who you are, we all need to have our own private area of a house. This is ideal for multi-generation, a blended family, or almost like a ski condo where you live upstairs and you have company or you rent out the downstairs. You could put a little kitchenette down there very easily. Square footage about 2,250. You've got an attached double garage that you saw. You're right off Pleasant Lake. You've got two golf courses in the proximity. You have other lakes. You have all the rec trails. Taxes, because you're in Diabrook, they're about $1,300, less than that. That's a good deal. But let's give you the grand tour. What do you think about the kitchen? These, I think, are hickory cabinets. And I think the floor looks like brown ash. Could be a hard pine, but it's not maple or cherry. It's real wood, and I think it's brown ash, which I think is a beautiful wood. You've got your three-door uh, refrigerator. You have all your little built-ins, and there's a plate room. Ever heard of one of those? I, like I said, a dozen rooms. You've got a lot of little special areas and then open living areas. So sometimes the room is really an area. Champagne to celebrate your new house? No thanks, I'm working. Look at the beautiful wraparound granite countertop. Two heat pumps, those keep it nice and cool in the summer, although Maine doesn't get stifling, it's a comfortable 70 degrees. Those heat pumps are efficient, keep you warm in the winter months, late fall, early spring. How is your favorite team doing? Let's watch a movie. That's a great wall for a big screen TV. What are they coming, 86 inches now? See the entry foyer room with a wall of closets? They have two of those. This house is ideal for entertaining. Here's the plate room. Wouldn't it be nice to have the ability to use Christmas china? Harvest china. To be able to have that formal holiday wear, or whatever you got for the wedding that's been packed away. You have a plate room. See the mixer? It's almost like an extra food prep area, like a butler's pantry. In the old farmhouses, you did have a pantry. In new shoebox type ranches, you don't. This is not a shoebox ranch. So your dinner fiesta wear, from all those people coming through your hall foyer because you like to entertain, you're social. What about the rest of the house, Andy? Let's head down the hall. Put your coats here, hide the vacuum. There's also a laundry behind those double doors. The next door on the right, that takes you downstairs. Bedroom number one. Double mirrored closet. Nice light colors. This is a beautiful room. Tile floor. Kind of a sliding glass shower. You have a bidet. You've got that Scotty Beam Me Up sliding glass shower. Six panel pine doors with the levers that are a lot easier for someone that doesn't like a doorknob. There's another bathroom off your master bedroom. Closet with a mirror. They are handy. Look how light and bright, comfortable this bathroom is. Check out the tub. 
You know how you get in a regular jet tub and you feel like all kinds of regurgitated water from whoever else was in it, like a hot tub? This has air jets, not water, stuck in those jets. See all the little holes? This is like a spa with ceramic tile and some size to it. And another bidet. It's your bathroom, a master bath. Here's the lower level, like a whole new second house with an outside entrance. Okay, 2,250 square feet total. This is the 900 feet that's like a whole nother world. You don't feel like you're in a basement because there's not those little half crank out windows that you could never get out of if you ever had to. These have full Anderson type windows. You have a glass door and it's southern exposure. So anyway, you've got a nice entry. You have an outside door to get in here. You have 900 square feet. You have more that you could develop. This house is heated with an oil, hot water, while McLean Gold boiler. Plus you have another heat pump down on this level. Here's your heat pump. Nice warm air, comfortable, quiet. Living here is quiet. You feel kind of secluded, insulated. The back door downstairs. Two bathrooms upstairs. One was the master bath. You have another bathroom. You can never have too much in the way a water works, right? You have like a sliding farmstead type door. This is like a home office. Bring your job with you. Telecommute. It could be another bedroom. What's this room? We're not at Macy's, the department store, but you feel like it. Okay, back to the tour. Wardrobe room. Little den, study, computer room. You could petition it off the other side of that door and make two rooms. Gun cabinet, wine cabinet, storage for something that you collect. Bathroom, bedroom on this lower level. Huge bedroom with laminate floor and you have a double closet. Two windows for light. Plus, if you ever had to get out of here, you could. You've got a door, windows, no problem. Safety first when you have loved ones down here. Or you're going to rent this out to a traveling nurse. It's going to be pretty rare that the two bathrooms upstairs are full. We need a third bathroom. The handicapped grab bars have a little seat. It's a double shower. Not one of those little tin cans you're banging into the sides and get claustrophobic, like you're in a submarine. Here's your water heater, which makes it nice and not clammy down here. It's dry, it dehumidifies. This is where you put your freezer, the stuff you get at Sam's Club or Costco. How do you run this thing? I think I'll go for a walk outside or cross-country skiing. I mean Realtor Andy Moore. Seriously, if you have some questions, please ask them. The answers to your questions are all down below and it helps everybody considering this home. If you know of someone that's looking for a house, a property on Pleasant Lake like this one, please share it. Let them know about it. Also, go down below. There's all kinds of links on how to get a hold of us, local financing, more information about this property, about Island Falls, Dyer Brook, Southern Aroostook Schools. It's not just the property we want to tell you about. We're trying to get you up to speed on the area. This is a big decision to buy a property to move to a new area. Maine is in the top 10 of states that people are migrating to. Why? Well, you had a great time on your vacation. The people are friendly. We're not overcrowded. We don't have crime. We're the fourth lowest state. There's a lot to like, and everything is a lot cheaper. The 
people are friendlier. And Canada's nearby. That makes it like a two-nation vacation. So hit me up with what do I do for fun, and we'll send you videos about the farmer's market, the band concerts that happen in the park with McGill's. There's a lot going on in a small town. We'll see you next time on the Main Real Estate Channel. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video, and if you're already a subscriber to our channel, thank you very much. If you're not, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you'll know about properties just as soon as they get uploaded. Get the jump.